Hi everyone, it's been a while since I've done a video in my room like this in front of my table with my background that could be so much better. I have wanted to sit down to film kind of like a chit chatty get ready with me and kind of update you guys on what's really been going on. For the people that are like always checking in on me and always like just reaching out and asking me questions and everything thank you so much i really really appreciate it you will notice that um for the past one month i've been uploading only one video per week and also um last week i didn't upload any video at all a bunch of people have reached out to me asking me is everything okay we notice you've not been putting out a lot of content even on my vlog as well and to be honest no i wasn't okay but i'll get into all of that in the video i just wanted to like sit down and update you guys on what's been going on i have a meeting with edwin um yes my, me and my best friend we have meetings i thought it would be a great opportunity just to put on some light makeup and then um and while putting on the light makeup filming what's going on because i just feel somehow sitting down and just talking without doing something before we begin today's video please do not forget to subscribe to the omagimara oh youtube channel i will really 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 appreciate it and also please do not forget to click on the notification bell so that you'll always get notifications of whenever i upload a new video so without wasting much of your time let's get started in today's video <laughs> So I'm just going to put on some light makeup, nothing really serious to be very honest. But if you do want to know the products I used or something in particular you saw, um, let me know in the comment section below and I will definitely reply you guys. So, what has been going on with me in my life? First off, I don't want you guys to think something like, I don't know how to explain what I'm going through in my mind right now. But I just want to say I'm alright. I'm okay physically and now i'm okay oh shit <laughs> and now i'm okay mentally i've had depressive episodes before this time i think what triggered it is the fact that um first i noticed that i was getting no no readership at all in a single day only four people would read my blog or only 10 people or 15 people and it was very very weird whenever i would go to my blog because sometimes if you own a website or you go own on your own Instagram account or something, you go and look at your photos as if you're like someone from the outside looking in. And I would notice that I would always get redirected to all these spam sites. I first thought that, you know, the spam sites were because like maybe my my Chrome browser was infected. Apparently, that wasn't the issue. One morning, I woke up at like 5 and people on Insta stories will remember this. If you follow me on Instagram, I did speak about it that day. One morning, I woke up at 4.30 in the morning, I couldn't go back to sleep. I went to go look at Omogimura and I got redirected to a spam site again. I just said, you know what, something that is going on here. I looked through my plugins and I found um, something had been installed, something I'd never installed in my entire life. I control every single thing that goes on Omogimura. So when I saw that plugin, I was like, the fuck? I did some research and I found out that my site had actually been hacked. What these hackers do is that they install, they find a way into your website, they install plugins and write new scripts that redirect viewers and readers from your websites to spam sites. They either take your information or just re or just like, you know, it steals your traffic and it steals um, your reader's information and I'm so lucky I caught it right at that time because if it had continued for a couple of more days Google would have blacklisted Omogimura so when I noticed all of that I spent that morning like from 4 30 a.m. since I woke up I sat down I went through the site I installed um, a scanner have a website on WordPress and you want to know like what's going on behind the scenes WordFence is really really good it helps you out I highly recommend it. It's helped me to scan Omogimura, found where all the scripts and the viruses and the plugins were stored inside my website. But I thought I fixed it. But the next day I realized that they've already like kind of logged into my site. So it was very easy for people, for the people to kind of like go back into the site and put the virus and put the scripts back in over and over again. Every morning and night I would scan my sites 
to find if like they've come back and installed and so far so good the traffic is back to where it used to be there are no more spam links and redirecting so that just makes me very 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 happy that is what kind of triggered what I, what kind of started this like a month long bender when i was going through all of that i was thinking to myself how come i didn't notice what was going on like why didn't i see the problem like i built Omegimura from scratch no well not from scratch but like I built Omegimura from like 40% because WordPress gives you like a template but everything else I did it on my own how come I didn't notice this sooner am I really taking this blogging YouTube thing as seriously as I should that single incident of them hacking my website kind of sent me down a downward spiral thinking about myself thinking about my work thinking about like what I've been doing, if I've been doing it well, if I'm even worthy to do it at all. Everybody and people will tell you instantly that owning a YouTube channel and blogging at the same time is... Doing one thing with a full-time job is hard, do you get? But doing a blog and a YouTube channel at the same time is very very hard because both of them are two different types of content. I edit all my pictures, I edit all my video, I don't have a team, literally Omogimura is just me. Trying to figure out, I put too much <laughs> concealer on my eye, me just trying to figure out how to balance everything is, was just like very very hard for me and this was before the hacking, I was like okay, two blog posts per week, two videos per week and I spaced it out in such a way that my blog posts were Mondays and Wednesdays and my videos were Thursdays and Saturdays. Now for some reason, I was able to always get Thursdays videos up. But for, for, for the life of me, I would film, but I would never have enough time to either edit or just put together something for Saturdays videos. And it really just, it fucked with me, I won't lie to you guys. Cause it made me feel like I wasn't working hard enough. Like I felt like I wasn't doing enough to like balance everything. I have a boyfriend. I have a family. Not a family, but like I live with my family. I live with my mom, my dad, my brother. Being friends with people. You know, maintaining normal life. And at the same time, building an Instagram, YouTube, blog career. And I felt like I was failing at many of these things, I won't lie. Me and my group of friends, we had like a kind of... We had to sit down and talk. We had like a fight. We realized, all of us, I kind of realized together that we have not been the best friends to each other at all. And we need to like sit down and figure out what what is going on. Are we friends? What are we doing with each other? That conversation we had made me feel like I was failing at friendship. I know it might seem weird to you guys that such things really affected me, but it did really affect me. Keep in mind, this was in like you know this was happening at the same time as my websites having issues and shit like that me going through the feelings of i'm not being able to balance my life and i'm just not doing my best i just wanted everything to be all right and everything wasn't all right everything was kind of like lit not falling apart but like it was on the brink of falling apart i felt like I felt like I was failing. <laughs> it's a terrible feeling, feeling like you're failing. Heart, you're like, yo, I am doing everything I physically can to be this better person. But in the end, you find out that what you're doing is so far from it, so far from being that person that you want to be. It breaks my heart, it breaks my soul, it breaks my spirit. There was my website being hacked, me and my friends realizing we had not being good friends to each other. Keep in mind, we're all still friends. Like, we figured it out. We literally just sat down and we were like, <coughs> and we were like, yo, we need to do better, better with each other. And we decided to do better. And now we are doing better. There was also the fact that Instagram is now so bloody hard. Hold on, I forgot to put out the lights in this room. The light should come on now. It's better now. This video is coming out on Thursday. Hopefully, by God's grace. Between then and this Monday's post, I didn't post on Instagram at all because I was just in my head I was like I need a break I need just some time to myself Instagram has become very 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 hard for me it has become hard for me it has become the survival of the numbers the survival of the fittest the who has more followers 
has more prettier pictures who has this and who has that who portrays this lifestyle and who has that lifestyle i did my best and i and i do my best to keep up i do my best to go to the events do what i can do the blogger thing but it, it took a toll on me you have to keep up every day you have to post every day so that you don't get lost in the algorithm you have to make sure you upload and it's not as if you have to post every day you have to post a fine picture every day so you can't just come and post one random photo you have to post a bomb ass picture every single day and the the irony of that is that not every day is a good photo day not every day i'm looking for my liquid liner i don't know what else is. you have to show people that you're doing something you constantly have to show the world that you're there you're alive you're doing something but the pressure to always post to always have something up online to always be there just got to me it got to me last week i was just like i'm not doing this anymore i feel like a lot of people are under this immense pressure to always be on on the internet i'm i'm building and sometimes i feel like not everybody wants to see the struggle nobody wants to see the build everybody honestly just wants to see the the end credits so competing with that on a daily basis just i i i get very i, I know i'm not supposed to compare myself i know i'm not Comparison is the thief of time. I'm not supposed to compare myself to other people. I re I know and I remember that everybody, every single person is going through something. And we might not know, excuse me, what people are going through except for what they want to show us. But it's so hard. It's so very, 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 very hard. I just wanted to take some time and just think and just be like let me just take a step back just you know take some time out no people, like the people that love you the people that follow you the people that 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 want to be there will be there for you which is why i'm constantly grateful for like the people that just always check in always are there for me i said i wasn't gonna do like a full coverage look but here i am well, I'll just use this foundation. This foundation is not full coverage, so there we go. I've been going through these motions and going through these these things, thinking about my life, thinking that I might actually cut out for this influencer blogger life. Before I went full time, before I like got fired and said I was gonna, you know, do this, I had already planned on quitting my job in December. So the year I got fired. I was planning on quitting my job that year in December. I was planning on saving up enough money and just quit and be a full-time blogger because throughout my life, that has been the thing that has made me the happiest. And then I got fired. So I was working for my blog. All the money I got, I would save it for, for clothes, for makeup, to blog about, to, you know, to just do the blogger thing. I'm working on my blog full-time, doing YouTube, Full time. I do this because I love it. And the perk of money is amazing. It's an amazing perk. It's amazing that I'm able to make money off the shit that I really like. I'm about to go through a lot to blend out this concealer because I had to go downstairs and help my mom with some stuff. I can't remember what I was talking about before I had to go downstairs. Hello? Did you get my message? I need to. Um, I told I have a meeting with Edwin today. Okay. Okay. Alright then, I'll talk to you later, babe. Bye. I really can't remember what I was talking about before. Whatever I was talking about, I was going through it. I'm glad right now that I'm much, much, and I'm in better mental state now. I have sat down to look at my schedule properly and these are the final um, schedule dates so these are the days I'll be uploading content on my blog Monday and Wednesday those are gonna be blog posts you know fashion beauty related reviews and then on my YouTube the days of upload on YouTube are 
Thursdays and Saturdays. I was thinking of making it Thursdays and Sundays before, but I decided to just keep it to Saturdays. Yes, I know what I was talking about. I was talking about my blog and talking about how my life used to be before I went full-time. When my blog wasn't my full-time job, I was able to make money and use that money to fuel my blog. Now, I have to make money off my blog so I can fuel my passion. Like, my job has to continuously fuel itself. I'm not the biggest blogger slash influencer, so making money to fuel my ideas are so hard sometimes. I once wanted to tweet, being a broke creative is so annoying. I heard a song that was playing in an Apple Music playlist and I desperately, desperately, desperately wanted to film a look. This is the way ideas come to my head. I'll just be like, man of my damn business and I'll hear a song and my mind will already start to craft and start to put together outfits and start to put together a location. And then I'll remember that, oh, I can't do that because, you know, putting together something on that scale requires money. And it's so, so fucking annoying that I, so, I don't have the money to, 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 to do the things I want to do. Before I would say, okay, I'll, I'll execute it at the end of the month. When I still had a job and I had a salary, I would execute things at the end of the month. I would put things together. I'll be like, okay, this is what I'll do with this month's salary. But now I can't do that anymore because my salary isn't guaranteed. There are some months I make money. There are some months I don't make money, I don't, uh, it's, it's just the way the influencer world works. I'm not asking you guys to pity me, I'm not asking you guys for anything, I'm just telling you what I'm going through. I'm just letting you know that before you go full time as a creative, make sure you are ready to go full time as a creative. It's, it's not easy and there will be some times that you want to quit. My love of what I do prevents me from quitting. I love what I do so much that I can't imagine not doing it. I just have to be smarter at being a blogger. I think in the end, when you're having issues and having problems, you always have to remember why did you start. And I remember doing this because I love it. I, I've always loved it. I've never had any other feeling attached to, to this. Just pure love. I love to create. I love to do the shit I do. I can't imagine my life doing something else. I've just been going through all of this, thinking about my life, thinking about what I'm doing, thinking about my blog, and just honestly trying to make sure that I'm doing the best I can. I'm recognizing the things that are making me sad and working towards not, like working towards them, working on, you know, dealing with my mental health better and, you know, just... I'm, I'm dealing with my problems the way I can deal with them. You know, surviving. Taking it all one day at a time. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Even though it wasn't like a tutorial or anything. It was just me talking about shit. I think what I'm going to end this video is with thank you. Thank you from the very bottom of my heart for for always being there for me, for reading my content, for liking my photos. I want to thank you all from the very bottom of my heart. I'm grateful for you all and I'm grateful for the love and support I get from all of you. I never imagined my life to be a fraction of what it is right now. I never imagined that I would have opportunities. The opportunities I have right now, I never imagined I would get them. And oh god, I can't cry. I can't cry. <laughs> I just want to thank you guys because you guys have been there for me. I wish I could reach out and hug all of you at the same time because this blog and this YouTube channel has been there for me from the beginning. Like, it's just been there for me through the darkest times of my life. I've always had my blog to go back to. I've always had my YouTube channel to go back to. I have you guys to thank. I have this wonderful family to thank. Thank you so much for being there, for supporting me. I can't wait for this new, renewed hope I have to really come through for you guys because it's because of you I do this. I do this because I want to provide the highest level of content and the highest level of anything. I don't I don't I just I want to be the best I can honestly be. I want to I want to make all of you proud of me. I want all of you to be like yo, Jill, I did that shit. <laughs> all right, so let me get going.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Please click on the thumbs up so I can get a like. Also, click on the notification bell so that you'll always get notifications of whenever I upload a new video. If you've not subscribed by now, please subscribe. Please, please, could you please? And please, and always, do not forget to be awesome. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!